For decades, we've been told a simple story about weight gain. Eat less, move more. But for many, this advice doesn't work. It's not a failure of willpower, it's a failure of the model. The calorie in, calorie out model treats the body like a simple furnace, ignoring the complexity of our biology. Our bodies are sophisticated systems, governed by hormones and metabolic signals. These signals decide whether to burn energy, store it or lock it away in fat cells. Focusing only on calories ignores the quality of those calories and their impact on our bodies. The mantra blames individuals, leading to shame and frustration. The truth is empowering. The problem is flawed advice, not lack of effort. Understanding our bodies as active participants in metabolic health is key. We must look beyond calorie math to the biology of fat storage. Hormones control whether calories are burned or stored. By understanding these signals, we can work with our biology. This perspective opens a sustainable path to healthy weight built on science, not shame. Imagine our cells hosting a dinner party with two main dishes, carbohydrates and fats. The Randall cycle discovered in the 1960s is the host deciding which dish to serve first. Our cells prefer burning carbohydrates for energy when available, it's the quicker fuel. When both carbs and fats are present, carbs are prioritized, leaving fats for storage. This creates a metabolic traffic jam where high glucose levels shut down fat burning. This process is normal but problematic with modern diets, high in both refined carbs and fats. Meals like pizza and burgers flood our system with both fuels, overwhelming cells. Our ancient biology struggles with this modern food environment. Understanding this helps us see why high-carb, high-fat combinations are problematic for weight management. Insulin is the gatekeeper of our metabolism, managing blood sugar and fat storage. When we eat carbs, they're broken into glucose, raising blood sugar and triggering insulin release. Insulin allows glucose into cells for energy, but also promotes fat storage. It locks fat cells, preventing them from releasing stored fat. This is the carbohydrate insulin model of obesity. Refined carbs and sugars drive fat gain. High insulin levels stop fat burning and promote storage. This creates a cycle. Energy is locked in fat cells, leaving the body hungry. Cravings for carbs arise, leading to more eating and insulin spikes. From the outside, it looks like overeating causes fat gain. But inside, fat storage drives overeating, with fat cells hoarding energy. Consider two snacks, each 200 calories. Pretzels with juice and walnuts with cheese. Traditional calorie counting sees them as identical, but their effects differ. Pretzels and juice flood the body with carbs, spiking blood sugar and insulin. Insulin locks fat cells, storing energy and causing a crash, leading to hunger. Walnuts and cheese, low in carbs, keep blood sugar stable and insulin low. This allows fat cells to release energy, providing sustained fullness. The source of calories matters more than the number. Pretzels and juice promote fat storage and cravings. Nuts and cheese support fat burning and satiety. Switching to lower carb diets can lead to weight loss without hunger. The energy balance model treats the body as a calorie manager. The mass balance model focuses on the physical substances, fat, protein, carbs. We gain physical fat tissue, not abstract energy. Instead of asking why we consume too much energy, ask why food is stored as fat. This shifts focus from behavior to biology, excessive fat storage. Hormones, especially insulin, regulate fat storage. Dysregulated signals, often from diet, cause fat tissue to hoard fuel. Overeating is a symptom, not the cause of fat accumulation. Modern diets, high in both carbs and fats, create metabolic challenges. Historically, diets were low in one or the other, not both. Processed foods high in both create a perfect storm for fat gain. Carbs spike insulin, prioritizing sugar burning and shutting down fat burning. Fat from the same meal is stored, creating an efficient fat storing machine. This combination can lead to weight gain even without excessive calories. The addictive nature of these foods creates a cycle of cravings and fat storage. Gut microbiota, the microorganisms in our digestive tract, influence metabolism. 
They affect calorie extraction and fat storage signals. Beneficial bacteria produce SCFAs, improving insulin sensitivity and reducing inflammation. A healthy gut microbiome supports leanness. Diets high in fiber feed good bacteria, aiding weight control. Unhealthy gut flora from processed foods increases calorie absorption and inflammation. Gut bacteria can influence cravings, creating cycles of unhealthy eating. Nurturing a healthy gut is key for weight management and metabolic health. Chronic low-grade inflammation is a key player in obesity. Excess body fat produces inflammatory cytokines, creating a cycle of inflammation. Inflammation causes hormone resistance, like insulin resistance. High insulin levels promote fat storage, especially in the abdomen. Inflammation disrupts normal hormone signaling, forcing fat storage. Modern lifestyles, poor diet, stress, lack of sleep, ignite inflammation. Breaking the cycle requires anti-inflammatory foods, stress management and rest. Sarah's story shows why conventional advice often fails. She followed calorie counting and exercise but gained weight. Her diet, high in refined carbs, caused insulin spikes and fat storage. Her body was in hormonal turmoil with high insulin locking fat cells. We shifted her focus to food quality, not calorie quantity. Healthy fats, protein and fibre replaced refined carbs. Her energy soared, cravings vanished and weight loss began. Understanding biology, not trying harder, was key to her success. Fat gain is a complex biological issue, not just calorie math. Hormones, especially insulin, drive fat storage. The carbohydrate insulin model shows refined carbs trigger insulin release. The Randall cycle explains metabolic conflict from high-carb, high-fat diets. Gut health and inflammation also influence weight. Addressing these factors is crucial for success. The narrative of personal failure in weight management is flawed. Understanding biology offers a new path forward. Fat gain is driven by hormonal signals, not personal failure. You can change these signals with nourishing foods. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods to balance hormones and reduce inflammation. This allows your body to unlock stored fat for energy. Change requires wisdom, not willpower. Reject calorie counting myths and embrace biological understanding. Be patient and kind as you heal your metabolism. Nourish your body from the inside out to reclaim health and vitality. Forged in pain, and written by Jonathan Griffiths. Autistic athlete, spine disease warrior, and founder of Carnivore Muscle. This 80 plus page guide dismantles the lies we've been sold and hands the power back to you. You'll learn why meat heals and fake food harms, how to restore energy, hormones, and focus, strength training without burnout, tools to beat fatigue, gut issues, and brain fog, how to stay strong in a weak world. Every purchase is a stand against the globalist agenda, fueling a movement to return health, power, and freedom back to the people. Rebuild yourself. Reclaim your fire. Own your biology. Download now.